The devil is a liar. God is still the truth. God is still the truth. The devil is a liar. Now, God is saying we have to work on our prayer life. Working on our prayer life is very important. There are very powerful spiritual methods that we can um, kind of like spiritual ingredients methods to use against the evil powers of the evil one, the enemy. So God is saying, on my feet saying, you was a liar. Oh, you a liar. When he start talking trash like that, just letting you, enlightening you to know that there's a blessing on the way. When he start bothering you and messing, what you have my mama, my God said it's coming. It could be your heart desire, it could be a job promotion, whatever you was praying and fasting and standing on God's faith and promises for your life. It is about to come to pass. And the enemy not let you know that when he starts messing with you, talking trash, bothering you for no reason, just being annoying. So you just say, I declare and decree you back in hell. I declare and decree you are delivered. I'm, no, I declare and decree that I or we are delivered and set free. I declare and decree you are bound, binded, bound and loose back to hell or the, the pits of hell or the lower parts of the earth or the abyss. It's plenty of places that you he, you are allowed to cast them or rebuke them in. Then you also say, um, that's declaring and decreeing, so you got to practice walking in that authority. Then the other authority you can walk in is binding, bounding, and loosing. And then the other authority you can walk in. Dumb people, man. That's what I told you. I don't, like, I don't like going to that gas station. I'm trying to tell them that I'm taking the... Uh, the uh, ginger ale soda back for uh, iced tea. They're going to try to make me pay extra because I'm getting mommy mommy ginger ale. I said, no, listen, you're doing it wrong. I said, what I'm trying to tell you is that the one I took back, the one I left here, that was my daughter's. I took that back and I got this. But I'm saying, you trying to buy this. I said, no. I said, I'm buying this for my wife. They're two different things. Oh, no, we're not going to do it. I said, you know what? Forget it. So I had to lie and say, no, I don't want the soda. So I put it to the side. I said, just give me my daughter change back from the soda. Okay, because this soda costs $2.25. That costs a dollar. So they gave me back a dollar a dollar and a quarter. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So then I had so I had this your soda on the counter. So I was like, yeah, yeah, I want to buy the soda. Oh, all right, well, that's $2.25. I said, yeah, I got it, you big dummy. That's what I was trying to explain to you. That's sad. Yeah, they don't really know what's going on around here. They don't really know how to speak English. So we keep him in prayer. But anyway, God is also saying that we go also, uh, it's called declaring and decreeing, binding, bounding, and loosening. All right, see you there. Have a blessed day. We see you at dinner time. And then God is also saying that we can, let me say, bind, bound, loose, and we can declare, decree. Let me see, we could declare, decree, we could bind, bound, and loose. And um, the Lord, what did I, do? okay, not right now. And the Lord is saying, to me, the Holy Spirit just spoke to me. When the Holy Spirit give commands or commandments, you're supposed to abide by them. Even through prayer or your lifestyle, when the Holy Spirit speaks to you, you're not supposed to quench the Holy Spirit. And quench means ignore or silence the Holy Spirit like whatever he say was irrelevant so you're not going to listen the being deliberately disobedient or intentionally or purposefully or willingly disobedient to get you in a whole world full of consequential troubles it is not worth it trust me I've been there done that and almost didn't survive it myself so it's not it's scary and it's not worth it so anyway also um well, that's not in any way, because that really is something to think about. You know, the consequences is life-threatening sometimes. The consequences, it could be jail, it could be hell, it could be the grave, it could be losing your mind. You know, it's a lot of things that, through God's grace, why you're still here today, 
with your sh same sanity. Your str like your sanity is more stronger than ever before, or your strength levels, or your wisdom levels and stuff, maturity levels, experience levels and stuff. Because God's favor and His anointing is over your life. But when it's not over your life, you better watch out because consequences lies at the door. And the enemy temptations and, you know, his botherings always try to interrupt, intercede, or intercept your blessings. So you got to rebuke him by binding, loosening, declaring, decreeing. Then you have power also to trample, triumph, and tread upon him in Matthew 16, 19, and Luke 10, 19, 20. So I want you to read that, get your Bibles and read it. And if you have any comments below, you know, comment below. Subscribe to our channel, like, share, subscribe, you know, comment some new bright ideas that we can add to our lessons and our messages and our blessings to receive the lessons. Well, um, let me see. So you got binding, bounding, loosening, declaring, decreeing, and then, um, Oh, you could also say, Satan get thee behind me, or you got to quote scripture. Because if Jesus could do it, Jesus is the same Jesus then he is now that lives in you. You can do it through him. On my feet, Sam. See, it works. Now, when you say under your feet, you're not literally saying naturally under your feet. You're telling him to get under your feet supernaturally in a, in a spiritual, supernatural authority way. Then you can say, uh, Satan, get behind me. He knows that means supernaturally. Sometimes he is a little slow, so you've got to be specific. And, um, you know, his demons are a little slow, so you've got to be specific. But any other time they know what you're talking about, but sometimes them being reptibated, and not knowing right from wrong, yeah, you have to really remind them sometimes. So, and they could be real tricky and cunning, but you just, you got to let them know that you're aware at all times and you're trying, you're striving to always keep them aware of what's going on, that they're not keeping you on your feet, but you're keeping them on their tools to know what's going on, that you're in control through God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost, not the other way around of them being in control of you. The only way they be in control of us is when... And we invite them in our life through sin, wickedness, rebelliousness, disobedience, well, disobedience, rebelliousness, astray, or backsliding towards God in some way by not keeping his commandments, statutes of the laws, or whatever he ordered you to do. Whoever he ordered you to stay away from, what place to stay away from, what things to stay away from, and you, if you don't do it, that, uh, that allows a crack of sin to come in any opening. And then that's what the enemy stands off, you know, that's where his ground is from, that's where he gets leeway or any type of material to work with. So learning the, I'm gonna say learning the basics of these things are very important because these are strategies, they're prayer strategies, strategy authorities over the enemy. So Hope you enjoyed the message. If you have any questions, please leave any comments below. Any scriptures you're struggling with, any prayers you're struggling with, anything you're struggling with inside of the Christ life and the body of Christ. Or, um, you know, Christianity. Okay, God bless. Bye. Or in religion, because, you know, we know all the facts. God bless. Bye.